Hey reviewers, it's your girl Socks here, and yes, it's me. It's me, Jessica. I'm here. I'm here. This is me. <laughs> if you haven't seen my video yet, I posted up a new video about me um, losing my hair and shaving it all off, doing this big move to shave it all off, and just bleach blonde it. And I did it today, and I don't know, but I feel really good about it. I like it. I don't know. It feels good. You can still see my little bald spots in the back. But just go check out that other video. It's a really emotional video. If you don't want to cry or anything, don't watch it. It was emotional for me. And I don't know. I had just had to do it. And now I just feel better about myself. And I don't know. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. I even like it when I put on my little my little ears now. Look. <laughs> I just love it so much. I love it. Let me know what you guys think about it. It's just hair. It's going to grow back. There's Ethan. We're going to be doing his makeup next. So if you want to catch that video, I'll be posting that video up too soon. So if you want to see that video, make sure you go check that video out. But if you would like to see how I achieve this look, just keep on watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button and that notifi um, notification bell on the bottom. Just so you know when I come out with videos like that crazy one of me uh, shaving my head. You gotta see that video. But anyways, if you like how I did my makeup here, just keep on watching. Smash that like. All right, you guys. So I already cleaned off my face and everything. And I'm, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's a lingerie or something. It's a hydro moisturizer that I'm putting on. It's to hydrate my skin because lately with this cold weather, it's been very like dry. So I'm just hydrating my skin here. I have my lip plumper on my lip also. I'm taking my vibrating like flawless roller and I'm just, I turned it on and I'm just rolling that into my face, you know, massaging my face, trying to get that jaw looking right. Yes, no double chin. We don't want double chins, lady. Like we're massaging that into the face. I'm looking kind of crazy now. Yes, I love this thing. You put it in the freezer, get it nice and cold, and you roll it on your face, moisturize, and closing pores all at the same time. Amazing. I just do this for a couple seconds, you guys. Sorry. I'm talking your ear off right now. Like my new do. <laughs> all right. So after I'm done rolling my face, and you know, hydrating, exfoliating, whatever, I'm using the Pore Professional um uh cream here and i'm just putting a little bit on right there on the sides of my nose underneath my eyes that's where my pores are at like those pores right there are so freaking big they're like caves i, I don't even know i hate those pores right there i'm constantly wetting my face with cold water and like using my professional and i use it on my um smile lines and uh, around my mouth and underneath my eyes because those pores underneath woof they are harsh so done rubbing all of that in i'm going in with my la girl pro pro something i think it's la girl pro girl color corrector in the color orange which i think it's like red but it says on the back of the bottle it's orange so it's like an orange red to me and i'm just taking that color corrector and putting it right underneath my eyes and i'm putting it wherever i see black spots because this covers up your black spots so we're covering up the under eye circles the shadow around my mouth because yes i do get a shadow around there and all those ugly dark marks on my face which are pimples that I can't help but pop because I have a habit a bad habit of doing that and my face gets all marked up so we have to cover those we cover that I'm gonna go in with this little like beauty sponge oh I thought I was gonna get my little beauty sponge I guess I'm gonna use a big one so I'm just taking that damp sponge and just blending it in it's kind of disappearing a little bit but it works trust me it it helps so we just dab that 
not really touch it, blend it. This Caprice thing, I got this, um, this is like a dewy glow oil, I don't know, it's like a serum for your face. I got this in my BoxyCharm box, it's $90, and honestly, I love it. It doesn't smell the greatest, but I love this serum before I do my makeup, because it gives it like that tacky feel, and it helps my makeup stay onto my face. And I try not to use it too much because it's 90 freaking dollars. And I don't want to fall in love with it like I already have. And then I can't get it again because I'm poor. So that's that for that. But it's amazing. I love it. I don't know what it is. But I started using it with my makeup. And when I don't use it, my face just looks ugly. And this is my um, Anastasia Beverly Hill foundation stick in the color Amber. And let me tell you guys, I'm so P.O.'d that they discontinued these damn foundation sticks. I went to Sephora the other day and I didn't even know. I asked the girl, hey, where are the Anastasia foundation sticks? All you have are these freaking liquids, the liquid foundation. They're like, oh, they discontinued the foundation sticks. And I was like, what? I was so mad. I absolutely love this foundation stick. It's my perfect color. It's like identical to my color. Then she was like, oh, you want the hourglass foundation stick? And then I saw that the hourglass foundation stick was $49. And I was like, what? No, thank you. I ended up buying the Fenty Beauty um, 350 foundation because I have one in 450. It was just too dark. So I color corrected it and now the Fenty Beauty is my new favorite, but I still have this stick here. It's just broken. And before it went out of, out of um, stock or before they discontinue it, I had bought the stick. I was like, yeah, let me buy this. You know, I bought my contour color, which is the cocoa stick that I use all the time. And I was like, let me just buy this one because I use it all the time and I'm going to need it. And I was like, you know what? I'll come back for the amber one. You know, I don't need it right now. And look now, look at me now. They discontinue it and I'm PO'd. Now I got an extra foundation stick in color cocoa. And I'm still using the first one because I didn't finish it all. And I'm I'm not happy about that. Really not happy. I wish uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills will come back with the foundation stick because I love it a lot. And I'm very upset. I'm not going to keep on talking about it because it just gets me mad the more I talk about it. So now I got two foundation sticks that are not even my color. They're my contour color. And uh, yeah, one of my favorites is broken. And I'm never going to throw it away until I waste it all. How about that? So I haven't been using it all. I use it for special occasions. That's my special occasions um, foundation stick. Let's put it like that. Favorite. Bam. Jessica approved. Anyways, moving on. We're going in with my Huda Beauty Concealer in the color toasted almond haven't used this concealer in a long time i don't know why i don't know i don't really like it that much honestly my favorite concealer right now is the color pop uh dark 40 that one right now is my favorite concealer and i also been using the deep dark 50 in the color pop which is like my contour color it's like a darker brown so I don't know. I've been feeling those $6 ColourPop concealers, but I bought this Huda Beauty a, a while back ago and I just got to use it because I bought it, going to use it. And it's not like it's bad or anything. I don't know. I just feel like it dries up too much underneath my eye and it leaves the underneath of my eye looking like the dry ass desert and I just don't like it. So for these purposes, for video only, not for going out, Jessica uses it. But I don't know, it's just too dry or mattifying for underneath my eye. And I already suffer from that nasty big old pores underneath my eyes. So it's like, ugh, no bueno at all. But I'm just blending that all out, you guys. Oh, let's go back to the Anastasia thing. So, like I told you, the foundation sticks have been discontinued, but can you believe they have the nerve? I thought I had found the, the foundation stick. No, they still have the concealer sticks. So they still got concealer sticks that look identical to the foundation sticks, but they're concealers, concealer sticks, not foundation sticks. So I got to look to see if they have a concealer stick that looks like my skin color and then I'll just use that one as a foundation stick but when I went they only had 
two colors like literally only two boxes left and none of them were my color so yeah let me just stop talking about that Anastasia thing already you guys know I bet that it's been discontinued and I bet you guys are going to be in the comments like Jessica where have you been you are mad late that discontinued mad long ago but I swear I was just in the store the other day and I bought you see this one I bought so I have this one this is the Anastasia Beverly Hair, um, I use this to contour and it's the cocoa. So that stick, I have two of, a brand new one of, but I didn't buy the amber one and I should have when they had them all there. Now I regret it and I didn't know that they were going to discontinue it. Now they have these liquid foundations that look like that other foundation that's called Il Maki or something like that it's on Instagram and it's supposed to be like this great foundation that covers up all your imperfections but it look the bottle looks just like that the Anastasia bottle and I don't know I don't know I just fell in love with their stick and I just don't know how I feel about it anymore. Anyways, I contoured my skin. I am in love with this um, BoxyCharm oval brush they sent me this month in my box. And it's like the perfect, I've been using this to blend out my contour ever since I got the brush. I love that brush. I got a bigger one too, but I just don't know what to use the bigger one for. Because I like to put my foundation on with... Um, and blend it with a sponge not a brush so I got a bigger one of these but I really use I use this one a lot the smaller one I just like it I don't know it's like so soft and it blends out my contour to perfection I just love it it's amazing so we got that going on and we're just blending it all in look at that I feel like I'm hurting myself but you got to blend it all to the neck. And since I'm bald now, I have to blend this contour color into my ear, the back of my neck, onto my neck. I got to blend this everywhere because if it does not look good all over my skin, in the back of my head, I feel like I look ridiculous. All right. So we're just going to blend that out. I got Ethan in my videos creeping in the background. He wanted me to do his makeup. I'll be posting up a video of me doing his makeup after this video, you guys. You got to give me some time. I know I always say that and then I take forever to post my videos. But it's like I have all these videos done for you guys. I just have to edit them and post them up. So that's what I'm doing. All right. Ow. I'm using right here my Morphe... Um, pro pro warm warm something I don't know it's a palette with all those browns in it okay and I'm using it because I don't really have a contour shade like brown I'm taking that middle color and I'm going to use it and I'm going to contour and like kind of like bronze my face because I'm not doing a precise line or anything so I'm just like bronzing the sides of my face and where I contoured my face but I have like an Oakland contour palette that's like a knockoff of the Kat Von D one. But it's like, it's the colors are like really dark. And I like to use that when I'm really like snatching my face and like contouring it to the gods that I'm like leaving this nice sharp line that looks blazing. But when I'm just bronzing my face, I have other bronzers but they're just not my color. And the NYX one that I use all the time has hit the pan. And I think they discontinued that too. So I'm just, I'm just all screwed up. I'm not into it no more. Like I lost all my favorite. Now I got to find new makeup that I like. So I need to find a new bronzer because I really don't like this Morphe one. I'm using it as a bronzer. I don't know if that's what it's for. Let me see. I have it right here. Let's see. So I'm using the Morphe 06 PW Warm Pro Definition. Now, I'm thinking that this is like a contour palette, but it doesn't really say it's a contour palette. I don't know. I bought it on Morphe. It was Morphe's mad cheap. I love Morphe. They have cheap makeup. But I don't know. I'm not feeling this, but I'm using it because it's all I got right now that I like. So I'm just using that as a bronzer. So I'm just bronzing it out. 
while Ethan stands next to me, pouting his lips, and he just loves the camera. And he has this big ass tooth that he loves to show off. I don't know why. That shirt he's wearing, favorite shirt. I bought that shirt from him for him at uh, Justice. He made me cut it into a belly shirt, and that's the only shirt he's been wearing for days. You know when a girl likes an, a certain outfit and she just never wants to take it off? That's how Ethan is with that shirt. And I love him to death. And I wouldn't change anything about him. He is so fucking perfect. But yeah, I'm taking that same brown Morphe color and I'm just contouring my nose there. I really don't contour my nose much because it's like I wear glasses so the makeup just rubs off on the sides anyways. So I just do a little contour, you know. I just feel like I have to do it because if I don't, I feel like my makeup is not complete. So nothing big I don't I don't go really into the nose contour thing I really don't know how how about that honestly my makeup looks kind of fudgy and blotchy here hmm not a good day for me Ethan's over there like bothering me too I have my Huda Beauty Kanufa setting powder I like this setting powder but I got a new setting powder that I fell in love with, so I stopped using this Huda Beauty. But right here, I'm using it. This Huda Beauty Kanufa powder has a tint to it. I do like it because it does have a tint, and it gives me that nice highlight underneath my eye that I like. But I've been using the Laura Morcier Translucent Powder because everybody uses that powder, and I just had to get it. And absolutely, I'm in love with it. I really am in love with it, but I don't know. I love both. I, I like the Huda powder and I like the Laura um, Mercier, but my Laura one is translucent and this one has like a nice tint to it. A lot of girls don't like the tinty ones because you're just adding color to your makeup, but I don't know. I really do like how it brings out a little bit of brightness on my face. I don't know. I use both. Let's just scrap it at that. Just a little bit of contour up right there. Get that line. I don't want that smudginess under there. I like to whoop, whoop. There we go. Bam. Yeah. Got that. I love this sponge too. The sponge broke on me, you guys. Oh, right here. I I pop out my cheek. My those are my smile lines, and I am just setting in my smile lines. Cause whenever I smile. I get those lines right there and they look ugly so I've been setting those smile lines lately but what was I saying before that uh before I started talking about the smile lines oh crap I forgot mm, I guess it wasn't important so moving on next we're gonna go let's see what am I doing here I'm just looking for stuff I do these after and I'm like lost. I'm looking at the video and doing it at the same time. Ooh, okay. So I'm using my P. Louise base. I don't know what number it is. I have three different ones. I use them all because they all look the same to me. Um, so I'm using my P. Louise and I'm going to put this right on my eyelid. And I'm using this as like an eye primer. I have hooded eyes so... You're going to see me put this on, pat it, and then I am going to uh, set it with my Huda um, setting powder. So I got to set my eyes because if I leave it, but like I leave it like this with a little bit of concealer if I'm using like bright colors like yellow, red, orange. Now if I'm using those bright colors, I'll leave the concealer nice and wet on my eye. But I'll do it one at a time because then my eye starts creasing and I get this ugly like crease line on my eyelid. So if I'm using bright colors, I'll do one eye first, put the bright colors on while the concealer is wet so the concealer can capture all those brightness out of those colors. But for these, for the purposes of this video, I was doing something very simple on my eye. Lately, I've been just doing quick, simple makeup looks. So I use my damp sponge, I blend it out, and I take my leftover Huda Beauty powder and I'm going to set my eye so when I do do my look, it doesn't crease on my eye. Oh, I didn't set my eye. 
Oh, yes, I did. I did set my eye. When I grabbed the sponge, I was setting it. I was like blending and I already had powder on it and I set it all together. Sorry, I didn't show that part, you guys. I got a little confused too. But I'm using my Conspiracy palette. Definitely in love with this palette. I've been using it a lot lately. And I think I went in with like Tanacon and the browns. I did all the browns on top and I used my ride was here. And I think I used that glittery, um, uh, what's, uh, paralysis, sleep paralysis. So I think I used all those colors. So the two browns on the top, Tanacon and the other brown, I'm having a brain fart right now and the palette's not right near me. And I'm too lazy to get up and stop and get it for you guys. So you guys that have the palette know what the hell I'm talking about. So uh, I know I'm using Tanacon. That's one of the colors. Then I'm using the darker brown color. Then I'm using my Ride Is Here, which is the black one with the uber little sign on it. And then I go in with Sleep Paralysis. I think I go in with Sleep Paralysis and I use my finger and I rub it right onto my eyelid. I'm going way ahead right now because I'm not even there. So... I took the lighter color, which I think was the Tanacon, and I um, just used that as my first base. And then I took the darker brown color in the palette, and I started from the crease, the end of my eye, and I'm blending it into the eye. And I also think I used that white color that was in there, but I don't remember what it's called. I really should just grab the palette so I can, because this is bad. Alright, so I got the palette. I want to tell you guys what I'm using. So the first color I put on was Tanacon. So I'm using Tanacon right now. So I used the Tanacon first. Then I did the Diet Root Beer. And I'm using the Diet Root Beer. And I'm just blending that all in. And I use the Tanacon to blend out it all in. Now, I'm not too sure... Let's just wait. I don't want to go ahead because I just, I really can't. I, I did this video like two or three days ago and honestly, I can't remember what I did. All right. So I'm using my finger now. What color is that? Oh, that's definitely not sleep paralysis. I use just a theory. Sorry about that. So I use Tanacon, Diet Root Beer, and um, just a theory. Did I use just a theory? That's definitely just a theory, yeah, because it's like pinky. So I went in with the just a theory, and now I'm just taking that diet root beer and putting a little bit. I didn't even dab it back into the, it already had brown on there, so I was just, you know, touching up the corners of my eyes. Now I'm going to take a thinner little poofy brush, and I'm going to go in with my rides here at the end of my eyelid right there lightly very lightly and like I'm putting like an eyeliner almost you see how I did that and I'm bringing it up to the side and just blending it in I just wanted a little bit of darkness I don't know it's like a natural eye I don't want to call it like a natural eye look it's definitely like simple straight to the point it came out nice you know I was just winging it. I definitely winged this look. Didn't know what I was going to do. Then I took a flat brush. And the diet root beer. And I'm just putting that on the under. Underneath my eye there. Blending it all out. Well, I don't even know what the heck Ethan's doing right next to me. Now that I see him, he's acting freaking ridiculous in my videos. Every video that I do when he's around, he's always acting up. Like doing something dumb as hell in the background. I don't know what he's doing. He's like going crazy. Now I took like my thin pencil brush and I took my rides here, which is that black color, and I'm putting it in my waterline of my eye underneath, and I'm just smudging it all together. I'm always giving it like that smoky eye look, but not smoky eye. I don't know how to, I don't know. I didn't want to get, I didn't want to take out my eyeliner and put the black eyeliner underneath there and have to 
I don't know. I just didn't want to take the black eyeliner out. I was being mad lazy. And since Jeffree Star's products are vegan free, I could use them in my waterline. So it won't harm my eye or irritate it or anything like that. So I use it as my black liner here for now because I was lazy. And this was a quick makeup look. I'm taking my Hank and Henry liquid eyeliner, which I am obsessed with. This is a $20 eyeliner that I received in my October BoxyCharm, I think. And ever since then, I fell in love with it. Never heard of Hank and Her Henry ever in my life. This is a $20 eyeliner and I'm definitely going to search it out or order it again because this is absolutely my favorite eyeliner. It comes out like black, black. Like I don't have to keep on... Like it comes, like a lot of it comes out. It dries up quick, you know, and it stays like black. Like it stays looking good all day. Like I love this eyeliner. I haven't found an eyeliner like this in so long. I'm, I'm used to always buying, like I buy a shitload of the NYX um, matte eyeliner. That's like a liquid eyeliner. But ever since I found this pencil one that came in that box, I am in love with it. I got to try out those gel eyeliners because I heard Inglock has this black eyeliner and it's supposedly the bomb so I gotta try that now also in my box I received Lily lashes in the name CEO and I am obsessed with these lashes I've been trying not to use them too much because they're currently my favorite lashes so this is my second time putting them on but I'm definitely going to buy more of these lashes. Obviously, they came in my BoxyCharm. And, um, bomb. They retail for $25. I'm definitely getting more of these lashes. I wear glasses, so the only time I do put on lashes is when I'm doing these videos for you guys. But, favorite lashes. Love these lashes. They, they give, like, a winged look at the end of it. And I don't know why. It's always hard for me to put on lashes, but... This time, I put the glue on it, let it dry a little bit, and they went right on perfectly. And I was like, oh, what the fuck? I was so shocked and happy that it came out the way I wanted to. I was so happy. The other eye came out perfect, too, so just let you know. <laughs> I love it. So right now, all I'm doing is putting on the glue. And since I have black eyeliner on, I buy this black glue. I have a white glue that's white I have a uh, eyelash glue that uh, looks clear dries up clear and I have an eyelash glue that's black so I use the eyelash glue that's black so if I mess up it goes in with my eyeliner I don't know if you guys understand what I said there but they do sell different color eyelash glue which is very good so when I'm when I don't do an uh, eyeliner wing look, I use my translucent glue or the white glue. Cause the white one you can still see the whiteness when it dries up on your eye. You know when you close it, you see that ugly whiteness. But yeah, I have those glues. And boop, I put it right on. Ooh, it was perfect. I swear the way to put on lashes is definitely to look down. And like get it right in the middle on the top and wait till the glue is nice and tacky see I was like stuck in the middle and I all I have to do is fix the sides that's perfect it's perfect I was just fixing them cuz don't you ever have that moment where you feel like one side just looks beat up? But I don't know, but it looks good. I still fixing them. I just sometimes the lash, the fake lashes get stuck to my real lashes on the top and it just doesn't look right, so I always have to fix it, but that looks bomb. Even you see when I close my eyes, you can't see that white ugly glue because I'm using black glue. And right now, I'm using my Ulta Beauty um, Mascara. This is just an Ulta brand that I got in like one of those Ulta gift boxes. And I'm just putting the mascara on my real lashes and trying not too much on the fake lashes because I don't want it to get all chunky and nasty looking. 
So I put the mascara on underneath my lashes to get that, you know, sometimes the powder gets on my eyelashes and you can see the white. So I try to do that, take it off. I use the mascara for that. And I'm just wiping off my uh, setting powder, one eye and my face. I left the other eye with setting powder because when I'm going to do that eye off camera and when I do my eye, I like to um, keep the setting powder on underneath my eye. So whatever fallout I get from my eyeshadow falls onto my setting powder and doesn't ruin my makeup. And I have to just wipe it off and I'm fine. But when I don't leave the setting powder and the fallout of the eyeshadow falls onto my eye, it looks ridiculous. And I end up getting a mark underneath my eye and I don't like it. And as you can see while I was babbling, I took that cons mascara and I just put it on my my bottom lash, my bottom lashes, put mascara on my bottom lashes. Now I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hill Dark Brown Brow Gel, and I don't really, I have eyebrows for the time being, um, so all I really do is color in the spots that are like empty. You see how I have like little empty spots on my eye? Like you can see the empty spots, like little bald spots on my eyelashes. I fill that in and like... As you saw, like I put like a little hump to my eye just to give it a little, you know, make it look. All I'm all I'm doing is like coloring it in a little bit. Now you don't see that spot that was there. You see, you see it on the top. You see it a little bit, but not that much. I just color it in. The same thing goes for the other eyebrow. I just color it in a little bit. I don't do like I see these girls that take the pencil. They they line it. They take some other thing and they make the lines and all this stuff i'm not i don't do all of that i don't i just fill it in because i i have eyebrows it's just my hair is not all there i went back in with that conspiracy palette and i took the diet cola because i wanted something on my um little corner of my eye there and i'm just putting it in the corner of my eye and i think i put that diet cola right underneath my eyebrow underneath that bridge of my eyebrow i think i do yeah yeah, I do. So I just take that Diet Cola. I really love that Diet Cola color. It's like so glittery and it pops. Look at how shiny it is. Doesn't it? Oh, it just looks so good. It really does look good. So I put all that on and what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the other eye off camera. I think I do. Yep. Other eye off camera. One minute. Bam! There we go. Gorgeous. Yes. We got the eyes on. I think I forgot something too. Oh. I'm using the Bang Beauty. Uh, this is a blush that I had. I think that I got this blush like last year or the year before in my Ipsy bag and I never used it. I'm not a blush kind of girl, but since I got this new haircut, I feel like I need some blush on my face now. So I put the blush, I'm using that blush. Let me see what color it is. I think it's in the color, um, that's Bang Beauty blush in the color Showstopper. And it's almost like a mahogany, like, like red I don't I don't, it's like almost like a, a brick red I don't know I like that color on my face it looked really nice so I'm just using that brick red on my face as a a blush I'm not really used to blush so uh it's my first time really like putting on blush uh so I have to figure out the blush ways but I see how some of these other um beauty bloggers or beauty influencers they put on their blush and they do it a different way so I gotta check that out right now I'm using my morphe continuous setting spray just to set all that that face in I love this spray I buy it all the time they sell it at Ulta and I love it so we're using the morphe spray then I'm going in with my Fenty Beauty hustle baby highlight I'm hit and pan on this highlight I love this highlighter so much like Fenty Beauty makes makeup for colored women and they make makeup that's going to last in the, like intense heat because Rihanna's from 
Barbados where it's really hot so she needs makeup that's gonna last and I'm telling you the makeup she makes is absolutely amazing if you live somewhere where it's really hot or you're a type of person that like me in the heat I sweat a lot and stuff that the Fenty Beauty products are one of the products that you have to buy because they're just amazing I love them so much I don't have a lot of her products but I really do love her products. I have like two of her foundations. I have two of her lipsticks. Of course, this highlight that I'm obsessed with. And I, I have her primer too. But I'm definitely going to stock up on some Rihanna makeup for the holidays. I have to do a new haul on my makeup because I haven't went makeup shopping in a while. I've just been getting these boxy charms in the box and the last thing I did buy that was makeup was the Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star palette and I know that wasn't long ago but before that I didn't buy makeup for a long time and I used to buy it all the time so I gotta get back to that so I'm just highlighting my nose using the same highlighter I highlight the, the that that top of my lip there to define it a little bit highlight my cheeks everywhere anywhere you want to highlight highlight it to the gods whatever makes you happy now i'm going to go ahead and do my lips i'm obsessed with the huda beauty lip kit this came out like i don't know a year or two ago it's absolutely my, my favorite it's like venus and spice i love that lip color comes with a pencil and two lips lippies in there I love it so this is the final look you guys something simple quick and easy that I do natural look nothing crazy on the eyes or anything like that if you haven't already follow me on Instagram crazy life of dress if you like this video please give it a thumbs up smash that like button like my hair yeah I gotta color it again please subscribe to my page if you haven't already and as always you guys I love you leave me your comments and what you like to see next but that's today's video simple makeup look you guys looking good until next time love you